Hello, this is JP Productions. I am Jordan and I will be showing you a new technique using the sampler today and we'll be taking a, something such as simple as a drum hit. This is the TR-808 kick uh, and we're going to basically do things with it to make it sound like this. Right, so let's start off. First off, um, we'll be using Simplar. So it's a, it's a simple version of the Sampler, hence why it's called Simplar. Uh, now we can basically take any sort of thing from this, so let's just find something that seems like it could be workable. Screw it, we'll use that. Right, so what we do is we take the start and we set it to loop. What we're going to be doing is just finding a very, very tiny piece that we're going to be looping over. As you can tell, that's creating a nice little dirty sound. I'm just going to try messing with this as much as we can. Okay, we've got some nice sounds there. Uh, on this one I've added an arpeggiator which has been quite useful so we'll do that again on this one just as an idea as what we can do with stuff. So we'll set it to... And we'll set the rate to 12 as that's what we have it on. So have a quite nice sound there already. So yeah, we've got a quite nice sound there. I'm just going to spread it out a bit. And maybe just bring down this release a bit. It's quite a nice sound to be fair. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the EQ8 and we're just going to do some frequency cuts of things that we don't particularly want. So we're going to take off anything below up there. I'm going to set that a bit harsher to the four times and brilliant. Cool. Now let's take something such as a saturator and work some magic with this. I quite like the wave shaper getting really high on the depth, quite a bit on the curve, and then add what you want just to make this dirty. Bring that down a bit. Let's take down this release. So we have a quite dirty sound there, quite distorted. I like that sound, it's definitely going somewhere. Uh, we've just got to add a few more bits and pieces to it. Uh, let's jump back onto the original channel and let's see what I've done with it. So we've added chorus to thicken it out a bit more, that works a bit better than the spread. Um, and we've added some reverb, so let's do both of them. Right, so let's start off by adding our chorus so we can hear the width. Uh, we'll add this before the saturator. So 
but just plan about with where you want it on the grid. It's already added a lot of width to it. I'm just going to take that depth down. Brilliant. Right now, let's get on our reverb, and this may just be well a new patch. Taking off the low frequencies because I don't want them to build up at the slightest. Taking up the spin and always putting on the quality to highest. Just taking down the dry wet to begin with and see where that ends up. That definitely needs a bit more wet. It's a brilliant sound. And with this, you can just play with this for hours upon end. We can shift this around. So just create new different patterns, different places. Maybe bring the length up. And that's how you create a nice new arpeggiated sounds using the samples that you have. No need to actually get any more synths. Just start using your simplers a bit more. Um, this can be changed into a sampler, a uh, simpler to sampler, which in turn can create new options to look into, like the filters, the attack. Uh, the global attack style, the modulation and the MIDI controls, uh, everything. You can also layer up your samples and get a few more in to build up your elements a bit better. Uh, they're all things to take to the next level. Um, but for today, we're just going to focus on that. And we have. So thank you very much. And I've been Jordan, and you've been the viewer. And I hope you have fun producing. Thank you. Stay.